Hello, Yeeps. I'm a rainbow. How are you today? One of the most frequent questions I get is how do I stream the mobile app to my live stream? Also, how do I combine that with my headset view at the same time? The answer is pretty much one and the same, and it's very technical. So if you're not interested in learning how to do that, taking your mobile app and getting it into OBS so that you can live stream it, you do not need to watch this video. All right, let's jump in and I will explain how this works. All right, I'm gonna start with explaining the equipment that you need to get your uh, mobile app picture onto your PC so that you can use it. You're obviously gonna need your iPhone with Yeep's companion on it. You're gonna need an Apple Lightning to AV adapter, and you're gonna need a Mirabox USB 3 HDMI splitter. Now, both of those things you can get via Amazon or other places. I've got the linked in the description. Those are Amazon associate links. So if you click on them, I might get a buck or two, but you don't have to go that way, but you do need this equipment to make this work on this method. Go ahead and get your phone on, turn the Yeeps app on so that it's up and running and connect the Apple lightning adapter to the phone. Now you're gonna to wanna to connect that to power. This is a, 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 a power hog, so just run it off battery, or you'll run your battery down very quickly. I found that out the hard way. So you, you want that connected to battery. There's a USB-C port on there that connects right to it. Go ahead and connect up the HDMI cable to the media adapter. And then you're gonna take the other end of that HDMI connector and connect it up to the mirror box on the in input right here just like i'm showing you all right then you're going to take the usb 3 connector from the mirror box and connect that to the usb 3 port on your pc once you've got the setup done you'll be able to look at it on your pc i'm not going to cover that just yet because we're going to hook up the cast side of this as well uh, and now i'm going to demonstrate how you get your headset view onto the same screen, all right? And the process is similar. Next, we have to hook up the equipment for the other side of the stream. And this is where we're casting from our headset. So it, we're gonna use another mirror box. This is the same product as the other one. It looks slightly different because I got them at different times. You're gonna connect the USB output from the mirror box to your PC. You're gonna connect the Chromecast and it can be any Chromecast that you have. This is a third generation, I think, but the newer ones are white. It, it doesn't matter which one you use. You wanna to go to the input, the 4K input on the mirror box and check, make sure power, you got power plugged into the Chromecast, see the little light on, and you're gonna to have to set up the Chromecast separately from this. It's got its own setup procedure, but once you have that set up, you'll be able to cast from your headset to the Chromecast. Now that you've hooked up your hardware, you actually have to get the video into OBS on your PC. And that's what we're going to do next. So I'm going to walk through this step by step. And uh, if you already know how to do something, great, but I'm not going to skip anything. Yours won't look exactly like mine. I've been working in mine, have things set up. But I'm going to start with an empty scene, which is what you would have if OBS is new to you. So select scene. Then you're gonna to go to sources and add a source. That's the plus button. And when you click it, you'll get these options. You're going for video capture device. Select that. Now you're gonna create new, you won't have any existing. I have some cause I've already got them set up and I'm going to do the iPhone first. So I'm just gonna call it iPhone and you can call these anything you want. And I'll just call it iPhone capture just to keep it simple. So I know what that video source is. And I'm gonna go ahead and select it. And if you have multiple devices, like I do, you have to pick one. And you probably won't have as many, but who knows. And I'm just gonna select the first mirror box capture that, that's on there. 
and this would be the correct one because it's the drone, which is the iPhone looking at me. So I'm going to go ahead and select OK. I'm not going to change, make any other changes right there to start with. Now, if you look, you see you've got these black bars around the outside. It will record that way because that is in the video is not sized up to that. So we're going to just drag this right now till we get to the outside edge. And you might lose a little bit on the on the top and bottom, but you don't really care. So bring that, get that out to the edge, and your video is sized up. This is normal because you're actually oversizing the video just a little bit. And you could record that just the way it is. If you look here where the audio mixer is, it's recording audio from the iPhone capture. I will tell you now, your best bet is to go ahead and add an audio source. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So add source again. We're going to go audio input capture. And we'll call this iPhone. audio in and once again it's going to ask you for your device as you can see i have a few of them um, and i'm just going to select the first mirror box because that's the same thing i did with the video and it's in there and if you look you see the iphone capture is right there the advantage of this is you're able to use just the audio from this or from your cast whatever you want to set it up and it's good to have available in case one or the other drops out. Um, and it also sounds much better when you've got audio that you can, and this will just be the input, say off the microphone. All right, that's for the iPhone. So now we're gonna create another scene. And if you want, you can rename these scenes right there. And we'll call this one right here. And I'm just gonna call it iPhone. So we know and now I want to create a new scene so you just click on the plus button over here and we'll call this one quest because it's the cast video from my headset and just like when we select it over here it has nothing on it we're gonna add a video capture device and we'll call this quest capture And once again, select it. So I selected the first one before. We'll pick the second one. And that is me looking at the drone right there. So that is correct. And we've got that. And you notice it's already sized up for the, the window. So it's full sized already. Same thing, gonna add an audio input capture. And if you don't wanna do it, that's up to you. But someday you may thank me for this. Or you might curse at me. Who knows? And same thing, pick the device. It was the second, second mirror box in this case. So both of those are there. If we look down, we can see where it's picking up audio when there's background audio there to hear. And uh, so those are both good. Now, you can record either the iPhone or the Quest right now, and they're just fine. But if you want to combine them, now we have to have to do one more thing. We have to add another scene. All right. And we're going to combine, call this combined iPhone Quest. And same thing right here. I'm going to add these. You can actually group them if you want. Or you can just click through and add the sources. And in this case, I'm just going to add existing, grab it, say OK. Same thing here, I'm going to grab it, video capture, add existing, quest capture, OK. And you notice they're both on there. And I didn't grab any of the audios right now just because I want to do this. So. I can jump between the two if I make one visible and one not, but 
if you try to record it or stream it right now, you won't see it. Now we need to add a filter. All right, and we're gonna start with the Quest Capture and we're gonna add a filter. And when you do that, you see Effect Filters. We're just gonna click on the plus button and we've got crop pad right here and i'm just going to give it a number because i'm going to say 650 because i know what that is already and then we want to make this area smaller and keep it centered so i'm going to go 650 on each side left and right and you know it looks like portrait right now so we're going to say close and you see what you have right there is it has moved over to the side. Now you can keep it on this side. You can move it to the other side just by dragging it over. Completely up to you. All right. I'm going to drag it over just to see. So now we're at the iPhone capture and we want to size this one down as well. So we're going to crop it. So same thing. Select it. Select filters. Select the add button. We're going to crop pad. And we're going to go 350 on this one, just so I know. And it's nice to name them if you know they're going to be uniform, because then if you have to redo them, it's quick to find. You know which filters you're messing with. Three filter, uh, 350 on each side, and I'm going to click Close. All right. So now you see what I've got right there. And I've got a big gap in the middle, so I can open one of these, one of the other of these open a little bit. And I want to expand this side, I think. So this is where the, the meat and potatoes is. So let's go back to filters. And let's call this 330, because I want it to get bigger on each side. Let's see how that goes. Oh, that's better. So now we're going to size this up. Just like that. And there might be the tiniest gap in between, but now we have both of them there. And if you start recording, it will record these just the way they are right there. So we've got the iPhone, the mobile camera app here. We've got the Quest headset here. And there's no rule that says one has to be the other. You can switch them out. And say you don't want to see your, your Quest, you can just uncheck that, click that one. And if you want to undo your filters, just check it. And you see you've got the oop, mostly full size. Let me size it out just a little bit. There we go. Not sure where that went wrong, but there. So that is it. We've taken the, the mobile app view. We've got the headset view. We've got them both there. They are side by side right now, just like you're seeing this. And uh, there you go. You are ready to stream, to record, to do anything you want with it. Um, go out, experiment, have some fun. Uh, I love doing this stuff. It's super fun. All right, everybody. I'm a rainbow. Y'all be good. Bye now. Ah!